Hi, what's going on guys? My name is Enzo and today we are going to learn how to deploy a smart contract. Once you have developed your smart contract, the next step is to deploy it to the testnet and then to the mainnet for others to use it. Also, you might want to deploy it to another chain that is not Ethereum, like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. In this video, we are going to do all of that step by step. Let's dive in. All along this video, we'll be using HardHard. HardHard is a development environment that helps you building blockchain software. You can check one of my previous videos, clicking here in the corner, to learn how to install it and start writing smart contracts today. When you bootstrap a hard hat project, you get an example deploy script for free here in the scripts folder. It's an OGS script that grabs the example smart contract reader and deploys it to the network that you specify as an argument when running this script. Let's start deploying the contract to a local blockchain. We can start a local node executing npx hat hat node. Once the node is up and running, we will open another terminal and then run npx hat hat run, followed by the location of your deploy script, scripts dash sample scripts, and then minus minus the network that we want to target. In this case, localhost. And that's it. Here's the address where the smart contract has been deployed to. Now, while this is helpful to test your smart contracts during development, other people won't be able to access the smart contracts that you deploy to a local node. For that, you need to deploy them to a remote network, such as a testnet or a mainnet. For deploying to a different network, the first thing that we need to do is add it to the hat hat configuration file. In this example, we are going to deploy to the Rinkeby Ethereum testnet. For that, we need to add in the hat hat config file a key for the network's value. A network will have a name, any that you like. In our case, I'm using Rinkeby as the network is Rinkeby, a node URL, and the private key of the account that will be deploying the smart contracts. You need to provide the private key because this account will be paying the transaction gas fees for deploying the smart contracts. Let's first get the node URL. How you get it will depend on the network you want to target. In this case, we'll be using the one that MetaMask uses. For that, we're going to go to MetaMask and look for the Rinkeby network. By default, test networks are not shown, but you can click here on this option and toggle on the Show Test Networks option to show them all. Next, we're going to click Add Network. It will open a tab in your browser. And here on the left, click in Networks. We're able to see all our networks. And if we click Rinkeby, we'll be able to see the RPC URL. This is the one that we are looking for. We paste it here and we save. Next, we want the account private key. We'll be using the MetaMask account that I have set up here, and we will first connect to the Rinkeby test network. And then here on the right, you can click on account details and then export private key. And once you write your password, you click confirm, and you can see your private key. We copy it and we add it here. That's done. Finally, remember that we need to pay some gas for deploying our smart contracts. For that, we'll be using what is called a faucet to get fake Ethereum to be able to pay for this gas. For this, we are going to go to rinkebyfaucet.com. You can find the link down in the description. We copy our account address, we paste it, and after some time, you'll see that your balance is 0.1. Now that we are up and running, we run the same script again, but this time specifying as a network, Rinkeby instead of localhost. It will take a, a bit longer to deploy because this time you are targeting a testnet, not a local node. So all transactions going on on the testnet have preferences depending on the gas that people are paying. After a few seconds, you will see that the smart contract has been deployed to a certain address. We can copy our smart contract address Go to etherscan.io and here on the right, we can select Rinkeby testnet, which is the testnet we are using. And in the search bar, we are going to paste our smart contract address. And here we can see all the details about it. It was deployed one minute ago by our address of MetaMask, 8D93. And, and that's it. Your smart contract is live on the testnet. One thing that I would like to highlight is that the way that we got this URL is not completely orthodox. You should be using a service like Alchemy or Infura to get a node dedicated to you and to your business. Finally, the same way that we have added the Rinkeby network, we could add another one called Rinkeby2 with another URL and another account. 
And the way that you deploy a smart contract to the mainnet or to another blockchain that is not Ethereum, like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, is just by changing this URL. And of course, the account should be an account that is on that chain. And that's everything I have for you today. Let me know in the comments if there is anything else you would like to learn about deploying smart contracts. Make sure you are subscribed with the notification zone and please like the video. Until the next one, keep coding, keep smiling.